Hey guys, welcome to Tech Chef. I'm TJ, and this is my unboxing and review of the OPS BT3100 Intelligent Battery Charger. And this is the version 2.2. The reason I got this is because, as of most of you out there, you have a lot of rechargeable batteries, and the standard charger that these come in it's purely just a charger. Most of them if you're lucky, would have some sort of feature that can warn you when the battery is going to die or is starting to lose performance. But that's very rarely, and and most of those, it, it, it has two channels, meaning that you'll have to plug in both batteries, two batteries, to actually start the charge. And this, being an intelligent battery charger, it has four independent slots. So what this means is, besides charging four different batteries, four different types of batteries as well, mind you, you are able to discharge, test, and some various other features I'll get into later. Here's the different types of batteries that this supports. And on the back you have the different buttons, the layout, which I will get into shortly. Okay, let's get this open. Okay, with that. Okay. <laughs> A little instruction booklet here. I'm not really obviously going to read all this out to you guys. Let's look at the part list and come back to this. Okay. Here you have your charger. Since I'm in South Africa, I opted for the Euro plug standard. They do also have a US version. And this up there. And yeah, it's the unit itself. Quite a lot smaller than I expected. It's got it's fairly fairly light. Um, there's your buttons. The four independent charging slots. a fan to keep the unit cool which generally would kick in the moment it starts to get hot so here's a nice feature to have and it does have a backlight hi guys okay let's get started so these are some of the batteries I have yet to test I've got my handy GP battery tester it just basically shows you if there's any power, and as you can see, it's green light, so it means it does have power. Uh, the bright side is obviously the more power it is, so we know this one works. This as well. This has nothing, so this we need to test. Could just be drained out or dead. Nothing on this one as well. And this is a light. This is a light. Okay. So, first thing is when you're looking at the charger, um, it does have a backlight, like I said. And one of the features is if you hold the display button down for three seconds, it will turn on the backlight permanently. Um, whereas currently if you press it, see it's switched on now, and eventually it's going to switch off. So obviously if you're not using it constantly and you just want it to charge, you don't need to have the backlight on permanently. And there we go. Okay, so first step. Okay guys, first step. When you insert a battery into this, it begins flashing and you can insert it in any one of these slots. It doesn't have to be the first slot. Like I said before, this is four totally independent battery slots or charging slots. Okay, so let's just insert this in the first one. 
it should immediately pick up. The fact that it's not picking up anything, we can come to the conclusion that that battery is toast. Let's try the second one. Okay, these batteries are dead. Okay, can you see what happened? The moment you put in a working functional battery, it starts to flash. Now, during that flashing stage, let me just get this out again so I can explain. Okay guys, so, plugging in this battery again. Now, during the first few seconds while it is flashing, you have the choice to alter the current and select change the mode. The default mode and default current is 500 milliampers and it's set to charge the battery. Now, say for example, you didn't want to charge, you want to maybe test the battery or discharge it. You could have selected mode during that time and that would have taken effect. Um, so let me give you an example for that. So, put that in. And during that flashing time, you said mode. See, you can select these are the different functions. You got your charge, test, quick test. This is your default charge, discharge, discharge and refresh the battery, charge and test. Now, let's just do a charge for example. And here you can change the current. So this goes all the way up to 2000 milliampers and as low as 200 milliampers. Default is 500, let's leave it on that. Now if you wait if you wait a while, it's gonna eventually settle. The other option to force it to settle and basically apply the settings that you've made, let me get back into that, is to press the slot button. And you basically move to the next slot. Now, while it's in this mode here, if you press display, because there's only one battery in there, it's going to just cycle through. It'll tell you the current charge, how long left, the voltage, the milliamps that that's left in the battery, Okay, let's get a few more, yeah. Uh, something interesting to take note. Let's say you insert this and you plug in a second, second battery. You'll notice both are flashing. So whatever you changes you make during that time, you'll affect both batteries. You can always go back again, selecting a slot Maybe you want that to display the charge rate. The total charge is actually on the battery. And if you eventually do put all four in, If you press slot, it'll cycle through, like I said. And the fourth time, you select all. So yeah, you can actually change everything at one time. It's handy if, you ch if you're charging or you want to refresh or test off a set of batteries at one go. Again, if you don't select a specific slot, by pressing display, you would I guess I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit for you. And if you can hear that the fan just kicked in. I would say it's not that bad. You can hear it obviously, but it's not that loud. Um, I know some people on the forums are complaining about the noise. Personally, I, I don't find it too, too bothersome. 
Hey guys, we're back again, and as you can see below, system has completely charged these batteries. Let's just wait, I'll show you. It should change to full. As you can see, everything is full. That means the batteries are fully charged, and you can scroll through a pressing display. That's how long it took to charge the batteries. And after it does complete the charge, it goes into a trickle charge. All in all, I'm really happy with this charger. Gearbest, awesome buy. We'll definitely be purchasing more items from you in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like and comment below and let me know if you will be picking up this charger yourself.